This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. Good afternoon. The aftermath of heavy rainfall earlier this week still causing headaches for many residents. More help is being allocated to those dealing with damage from flooding. And WGN's Alyssa Donovan is live in Austin tonight with more. Yeah, Jackie and Ray, State Representative LaShawn Ford is calling on people to help their neighbors following those devastating floods from over the weekend. Ford is working with several West Side community organizations to collect donations and help some of those seniors who are now living in unsafe conditions. People are in need of help. State Representative LaShawn Ford joined leaders of Westside Community Organizations on Thursday to outline a plan to help residents impacted by recent flooding. We know that flood waters in basements create health hazards, and we know that the flood waters have actually hurt people's budgets. People like Dwayne Booker. Water was gushing everywhere. Booker's basement apartment was flooded with more than two feet of water, damaging the walls, the water heater, and so many personal belongings. It was a mess. Representative Ford says one in four homes in the Austin neighborhood were impacted by the floods, and many seniors, like Booker, are unable to clean up the aftermath on their own. I got a lot of stuff that need to be thrown out, mattresses, couches, Stuff like that and that nature, and uh, it's kind of difficult on doing it by myself. Which is why Ford is working with organizations, West Side Health Authority, and every block a village to collect donations and assist those dealing with flooding issues. A group of men from the area have also volunteered to help move damaged items out of seniors' homes. This is an unexpected expense on people that are already struggling to live and survive on the west side of Chicago. Along with donating to the cause himself, Ford has promised to take this issue to the governor and ask for assistance so that people like Booker can once again have a safe place to call home. I hope I get some help too. And Ford is also calling on utility companies to pause shutoffs in these areas that were impacted by flooding. Ford says some of those insurance companies are not paying for the damage of those residents who have been impacted by those flooding issues, which is why those donations are necessary to help those impacted, specifically seniors and those who are disabled in their homes. For more information on how to donate to flood victims, we do have all those details on our website. Now tonight, there is another community meeting happening uh, where some people in this area can come and speak with some local officials officials about some of those flooding issues that they are still dealing with. That's why people are lined up behind me here at the Austin Community Center. And of course, we'll have more details on that. Again, that meeting tonight is at 6 p.m. Reporting live in Austin, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News. We'll see you later. Thank you.